Welcome to XOP Networks. This afternoon, we're going to talk about XOP's Ring Down Firebar Conference Server, or Crash Phone System, as it's more commonly known. Before we go on to the detail, just a little bit about XOP Networks. We were founded in 2002. We're headquartered in Dallas, Texas, and we're made up of ex-telecoms guys from all over the world and we're all long in the tooth engineers. We manufacture conference bridges and um, application nodes. We sell through OEMs, resellers, or directly to the end user. And we have a global sales and support network in place so that we can ship these systems anywhere in the world and still successfully service them. So this is, illustrates the basic function of the Ring Down Firebar conferencing system. An incoming phone call or an off hook on the master phone here causes the system to call out to these different endpoints. And as those endpoints answer the call, they're joined on to a multi-party conference and everybody can hear everybody else. This illustrates a typical analog network analog phones you can see here we have one in the air traffic controllers tower and we have phones strategically placed in the fire stations the airport admin building um, or 911 dispatch and again the, the way basic principle here is the off hook here calls everybody and as they answer they're all joined on including the 911 dispatch there's another form of this called an alerting network the alerting network is a lot simpler. Um, it's a simple mushroom button in the air traffic controller's tower, and he hits the red button, and it calls all these stations and triggers things like strobe, bells, PA systems, and again, our good old friend, the 911 and the police station. We can actually do combinations of these two systems. It can be a, a crash phone and a crash alert system. In fact, we've just done one of these in, uh, in Mount Hagen in Papua New Guinea. This is the most up-to-date version. It uses the LAN-based system here, the airport VLAN dedicated to the crash phone network. And it's important to have a dedicated network here so there's no conflicts um, over traffic, etc. Here you can see IP phones and the tower phone. The tower phone's worth mentioning here it has a sidecar, and the sidecar illustrates to the air traffic controller who's answered the phone, who's actually on the call. Is the fire station there? Is the police there? And he can instantly see who he's talking to. There's a more sophisticated version of this, and here's where we have a redundant RFCS. We have two of these systems in different buildings in the airport, all connected on the fiber network. Um, if one of these systems, the primary system, is all connecting the phones to begin with, if that primary system gets disconnected, or the fiber cut, or the power goes out, or something like that, then these phones will automatically rehome to the secondary system, and the secondary system will carry on functioning, and you wouldn't know the difference which system is active and which isn't. That's absolutely identical. So this is the heart of the system. We base our platform Cisco 4000 router, and um, it's got two important network interface modules, or two modules in this. The network interface modules, where we can do analog, FXS, FXO, or PRI, and a service module. And the service module is where our software resides. This is XOP software, um, Linux-based software, um, the, the whole thing, um, we can support 2,500 analog sets or IP phones or a combination of both. We can put loop extenders in to go up to 30,000 feet away. We can even connect with the SIP trunk to the, to the airport PBX. And that way, when the system goes off, the system will not only call those stations, it will call off-net users, cell phones, people that are off-site, and join them into the conference. Here's a quick look at some of our customers. We've arranged them in segments here, utilities, airports, um, government, military. Um, as you can see, uh, we're very popular with the militaries. 
Um, we've just done two systems in the United Kingdom at, uh, for the US Air Force in Lake and Heath and Merlin Hall. Um, airports, large and small, we've got them both. Utility companies, utility companies like this, especially those that are nuclear powered, because nuclear power is dangerous, as everybody knows, and you need an emergency phone system to alert everybody that there's trouble. And those systems can actually talk to all the plant personnel, or they can talk to the city and the state people to let them know that there's an emergency at the nuclear station. These are all nuclears, by the way. So I hope you've enjoyed that presentation um, and thank you very much for listening. Please come and see us at exopnetworks.com.